Christian community at its core is marked by the presence of the Spirit. Christian community at its core is marked by the presence of the Spirit. Who is the Spirit? In some sense, I would reply, He is the new covenant gift proceeding from Father and Son to the believing community. Who is the Spirit? He is the gift proceeding from Father and Son to a group of people. The believing community. My contention this morning is that while this core marker of the Spirit is absolutely necessary, the reality of our dependency upon the Spirit is woefully neglected. This past week, Christian, think with me. How many times, if at all, did you recall to your mind that your body is now the temple of the Holy Spirit? You are not your own. And if you did recall that on some level, in what specific ways did that recollection impact the choices you made each day? This past week, as we all went about our business, how cognizant were we of the reality that apart from the Spirit, we have no power to win. In the battle that is life, marriage, family. How cognizant were we this week in our homes that our Christian marriage is the work of the Spirit? How cognizant were we that that our attempt to raise up arrows and launch them out for Jesus, that's the Spirit's work too. How aware were we that that even such things as our daily attitudes, whether or not we're being marked by love, joy, patience, gentleness, kindness, faith, that too is whose fruit? It's not the fruit of the dollar. Oh my. As markets rise and fall, As interest rates climb, man, if you're love, joy, peace, patience, connected to the dollar, woe is you. You're about to be undone. How cognizant are we that in some sense, we are the people who are to be marked by whose lives are built on the foundation of God's Spirit. 